friends, welcome to Living a Country. Today we get to tour another fabulous farmhouse home today. And I am thrilled because we get to go check out and tour Kelly's home from City Girl Meets Farm Boy. And I have been following her for as long as I've been on Instagram. So I am so excited that we get to tour her home on our YouTube channel today. So if you guys for some reason are following her, I will have it in the description box below. But I am so excited to be sharing her home today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, this is Kelly from City Girl Meets Farm Boy and I'm so excited to be on Holly's channel today at Living at Country. She is such an amazing creator and inspires so many of us and I'm tickled to be a part of her channel. So I'm gonna bring you along on a quick tour of my home. It's a little bit lived in today, so don't mind the mess, but I'm gonna share some great DIYs with you that we've worked on and I hope you enjoy. So this is the entryway of our home and yes, our little puppy will follow us wherever we go. Um, it's a smaller entryway and so we tried to think of ways to bring up some light. I have a sign that I'm changing out and I haven't found the right one that I love, so hence the bare spot. But this is a space that we added some white shiplap to kind of open up the space and then added a big square mirror, which we love because it kind of just makes it a little bit bigger. We also added some of these um, country doors because this is my husband's office and it was completely open and so we installed the doors to kind of close that off so that he could have some privacy. And right off the entryway of our home is this bathroom. It's kind of our teenager's bathroom and we added a faux frame around the mirror. We added also peel and stick shiplap wallpaper which we super love. And then we installed a coat hook and added some signs. So this is a great little space for her. And then right next door is this crazy pantry. Now, this is kind of the dump room where we, um, it's crazy, like anything that comes in on my packages. So don't mind this, this is called reality in life. Does anyone else have like a dump room? That's what this is. But we feed a lot of kiddos and we only have a closet in the kitchen for me. So I built this shelving out of two by fours. It was really, really inexpensive to create. And then we stack it with all of our lunch items and our snack items. And so when kids come over to visit or my kids come home for lunch, they know exactly where to go. And it's turned into a great pantry slash dump room. So this home is a spec home by a local builder. And so we've tried to do some upgrades throughout the space to kind of give it its own character. It's a little tricky because this wall over here is like a 22 foot triangle wall that's been hard to maneuver. So what we did is there was carpet everywhere and last year we tore out all the carpet and added some laminate wood flooring, which we love. This is called Nutmeg from Select Services. And then we just have a large space. We added this um, floating shelf and some decor. Hey, just a minute. Then we put up this shiplap and installed some wood balances. And then this fireplace is just the white basic fireplace that was builder grade when we moved in. And so I built this topper that actually sits right on top and then is screwed into some braces. So I can take it right off and the fireplace has never been affected. And then last but not least, I built these shutters that we transition out with different lanterns and then we can hang different decor in the middle depending on the season, which is really fun. It transitions right over into our dining room. Now, normally I would not have balloons up, but I just threw a shower for a friend and the balloons are so cute, we haven't taken them down yet. So that's not part of the decoration. Something that I also love in the kitchen area is these plumber's pipe folding shelves that we built right when we moved in. And I change them out for every season, so they're really fun to have here and not a hard build at all. The kitchen is white. When we moved in, I wasn't sure if white was um, what I could do with white and I've left all my stuff out, right? We have our drinks and our cups and that's just kind of how we roll. But I've really learned to love the white kitchen um, and we changed out the knobs. They were silver and we put in kind of a bronze just to change up that look. And then last but not least on this island, we wrapped it in peel and stick wood planks to kind of make it pop, which really was a fun, um, you know, attribute. Finally, we painted the pantry door this really fun, it's called Soapstone from Fusion Mineral Paint. And it once again, just adds a little bit more character to this kitchen space. So this is our main living area. 
So this home does not have a large entryway or mudroom space, and so we kind of made this hallway into a makeshift mudroom. So we have a little bench here, we added a board and batten wall for some accent character. And then over here, I love these Weber lumber. They are um, just real wood planks that are already stained. And so we made this section just a little bit more rustic. And then we added two coat hooks that you can see that when our kids come in, they can put up their coats, they throw their rock climbing stuff, and it just gives us a little bit more storage space. This is the other guest bathroom. And the unique thing that we did is a lot of times um, you want a accent wall, but in a bathroom, you're a little bit worried about warping. So we did not add a real wood accent wall. We actually added a laminate wood accent wall. And this has been on here for about four years and has held up really, really well. And it was super inexpensive because it was 79 cents a square foot. So definitely consider a laminate accent wall if you're looking for something in the bathroom. Okay, I'm not even cleaning the bathroom for you because this is called reality. Um, and this cute note, my daughter wrote this first months ago. I can't clean it off, it just stays. Okay, this is the Fiona. This is the Fiona wall blush wallpaper that I used in the space and I love it. Um, then this is a towel rack that I built myself. It was super, super easy. These are from um, a tip from Casey. My homegirl Casey from Great Bridge Designs taught me this. This was um, a builder grade light. It was turned upside down and it was silver. So I spray painted it with a paint called Blackout from my color shop, that's the handle, it's called Color Shop, this shirt, Sarah at Home Depot. I turned it upside down and then I ordered these cages. And I think I got like four for 20 something bucks on Amazon and you just screw them in and it totally makes it a new light. Anyway, that's kind of our little bathroom and some of the updates, if you have any questions, let me know. This is the workout room that we outfitted last year. And this used to be a little boys room, that's why we have this random setup right here there used to be a slide and this is like a playroom we built those barn doors but we've left it just for if we ever choose to use it again but now it's our workout room and this is a really inexpensive modern board and batten wall that cost under 50 bucks and so if anyone wants to do that I super encourage you it's just one by threes and 45 degree cuts and then you paint it it's a great great um, accent wall so this is our workout room so now this is our basement area that was lived in last night with teenagers, so it's a little messy. But this is our um, pool table that we had put in, and this is hiding under here. It actually goes over here sometimes, but it's hiding. But this is an accent wall I added with my neighbors were getting rid of wood flooring. So I actually repurposed it and built this wall. So it's kind of like an accent of where um, the pool table things would go. And then we built these wood valances and then this is the space down here where kids hang out it's pretty casual we also added this peel and stick wood wall which i really love and this is one of my favorite parts of the house it's all four of our kids in the days they were or the times they were born and it's called the best of times wall so i grabbed a clock from ross because they're inexpensive and i stopped them of the times each of them were born which was i love remembering that and then we just have a large entertainment center with all of the scrapbooks so the kids can look at their lives and kind of um, veg down here. We don't have a TV upstairs in our living space, so this is where the TV is down in our home. And then we also did these barn doors to kind of accent the wall that you just saw. Um, I used the peel and stick wood and did a herringbone pattern and kind of, cause I wanted these to be barn doors, but of course there wasn't space to do the rolling. So we just accented the wall and then I added some fun handles. This is also a really fun and expensive way to decorate a large wall. So I actually found both of these pieces at a thrift store, but you could do anything you want of some kind of sign, kind of sign, and then a clock, just kind of re representing the time of your life. And then I uploaded tons of photos that I loved of my kids that were eight by tens. You can get them done at Costco, Arts Cal, really inexpensive. And then I bought on sale the canvases from Michaels. You can get like a 10 pack with the coupon for like $10. They basically turn out to be a dollar a piece. I mosh posh the, the base of the canvas, stuck the picture on, let it dry, and then mosh posh the top of it. And I did it like in a, um, 
a brush stroke pattern so it looks a little bit it's hard to tell and you can't see in the light but do you see that it's kind of like in a, a painting type of pattern and then just hung them on the wall so my kids love to come down here and look at all these images of their of themselves and so that's kind of a really inexpensive way to highlight a huge wall space of family photos is to use Mod Podge and canvas boards. So that's kind of a space we really love. As I wrap up this home tour, something else I wanted to show you that's been our latest project that we have absolutely loved is building this deck. So my husband kind of figured out all of the layout, then my kids did the deck build with us. We bought a hot tub and then we got this great patio furniture that we have loved and our doggy, as you can see, she loves to just venture out here because it's a warm sunny day here in Utah and it's been cold for so many months. And so having this back patio space has been such a lovely addition for our family and it's really the highlight of our home right now. Something else that we did back here and the wind has kind of blown some things around is we built a small little space. It's like a cooking area back here. And we added a pizza oven, which is also a really big highlight. And this year we're actually gonna be building it out even bigger and adding some new patio furniture. And we strung some lights, we get a stair up at the mountains, and then we have all of our gardens boxes that we built that grow in the back. And so this is kind of another space that we absolutely love. Thank you for joining me on this home tour. And if you're ever in Utah, come visit. It's a beautiful place to be. Thank you all so much for watching Kelly's home tour today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of our home tours, DIYs, or home decor videos. I will see you guys later on the bit of country. Bye.